he decided not to change that vehicle up to today. That vehicle is what he drives everywhere he goes. He said, no need to change the vehicle, that Burkina Faso doesn't have enough money. Instead of changing the vehicle, he went ahead and bought tractors. And instead of approving SUV for senators, for governors, for local government chairmen, he used the money and bought tractors and sent people to farm. That is good governance. And one amazing thing about Ibrahim Traore is he is not only sitting in government office. In most of his time, he carries his own gun, AK-47 or pistol, by himself and go to the wharf rons by himself. He visits construction sites. He visits poor people from one village to another with the Drover Defender 1991 model. He did not approve any vehicle for anybody. And look at what is happening in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is now having new airport, new route, new machinery for agriculture. Also, Burkina Faso is now acquiring drones for protection and so on and so forth. Since he took over Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso has never had it so good as they are having it now. Because to change economy of a country is very, very easy. Just convert that money you are using unnecessarily. To use it to build factories, or use it to buy tractors. Send everybody to work. Whoever say he don't have work, go to farm. Now in some countries, when president enter into office, he approved SUV for himself and four SUV for his escort, and SUV for every governance. The same SUV, which are Toyota SUV, latest model, to the local government chairman all over the country, and to the lawmakers and the senators. In most countries, this SUV, the number rise up to 1,000 pieces of SUV. Some of this SUV cost $200,000, in Africa, for example, almost 100% of all the African countries do what I'm talking about. They have SUV everywhere. None of them has ever thought that this money we are misusing would have been enough for us to use it to build factories because each SUV of $200,000 can actually build three factories. Imagine 1,000 SUVs times by three. That is 3,000 factories. If you have used your mind to use it to build factory, you will be having 3,000 factories every four years. But the leader doesn't want to do that. What they want to do is to be buying about 1,000 pieces of SUV every four years. Because every four years, there will be a new election, a new leader will be elected, a new governor will be elected, a new local government chairman will be elected, and it continues like that. Instead of using the little money Africa has, they are actually spending the money in Japan, unnecessarily. After seeing what Jose Mojica did in Uruguay and what Ibrahim Traore is doing in Burkina Faso, I began to thank God. Why? Because we needed a template. We needed a template to show people that good governance is possible and the good governance changes the economy of a country. Burkina Faso is supposed to be the poorest country in Africa. But look at what Burkina Faso is doing. Today, Burkina Faso is much better than countries that have petrol in Africa. Much better than a country that have so many mineral resources that Burkina Faso doesn't. Why? Because the little money in Burkina Faso has been converted into industrialization, into factories, into protection for everybody, not for few politicians who will gather and take the money to Asia to pack Toyota SUV and share it within themselves. And every four years, they do the same. There is no way a country will run like that and be better and be productive. And any country who continue to pack their money to go to Asia and buy Toyota SUV every four years, that country is running into disaster because the economy will always go down. The country who think about development, who think about production, who think about farm, who think about to make a nice farm, who thinks about good governance will always get better. Thank you very much for watching and be careful about the type of leader you vote for.
If you see a leader who has exotic cars like Ferrari, like Limousine, like Maybach, don't vote for them because those leaders are the ones soaking your country's money. They are the ones making your country not to move forward because they are spending the money they're supposed to use to build factories on cars. Any country that go to Japan to buy about 1,000 pieces of SUV can never progress. It is not a course, but it is the reality. Because that money they are using to go to Japan to buy SUV would have been enough to build factories and everybody will be working happily, but they never wanted it. Why? Because they wanted enjoyment. Thank you very much for watching, and this is Entervlog. We have seen the template.